Hi friends, Chitra here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see what is 200 EMA and how can we trade using the 200 EMA for the intraday swing and for the positional. Okay, so in general, what is this EMA? That is the 50 EMA, 200 EMA, all these are higher EMAs. Okay, so these EMAs are used as indicators for long term trends. Okay, also when the stock price crosses its 200 EMA, it is a technical signal that reversal has occurred. Means if the price is trading above the 200 EMA, so this is the 200 EMA. If the price is trading above 200 EMA means that stock or for that particular index is bullish. Okay. So we need to understand why we are using the 200 EMA means what are the accuracy when we use the 200 EMA in our trading. It is giving the price accuracy means we are getting the double confirmation or we are getting the strong confirmation to enter into the long or for the short trade. So the price that is a 200 EMA is able to provide the better accurate price analysis even in the periods of the extreme volatile market. So in, con in case if the price is in the sideways or in the consolidation phase, we can understand where to enter into the long and for the short trade or whether the price is consolidating when we are using 200 EMA in our trading. Most technical tools don't perform well under pressure and volatile market conditions. Okay. So, however, the 200 EMA can focus on the current and for the past data for the accurate analysis. So, that's why we need to use the 200 EMA in our trading. What are the other specifications of the 200 EMA? Okay. So, why we want to keep the 200 EMA in our trading? Okay. Compared to the lower EMAs like uh, 5 EMA or 10 EMA if you are using, that will be based on the 10 previous days data. Okay. But if you are using 200 EMA, which is capable of giving the bigger picture. Okay. Because that is taking the average of the past 200 days or past 200 candles. That is why this indicator is able to identify longer market trends than the shorter EMAs is often used by the long-term traders. So, always the long-term traders that is for the swing or for the positional traders, they will be always using this 200 EMA in order to understand the bigger picture of the market that is the overall trend of the uh, stock or for the index or for any in instrument. Okay. So, next we will see the visual simplicity. So, if you are using 200 EMA in our uh, trading, it will be helpful for us to you know, view the chart and understand the trend. Okay. So, many different technical analysis or tools are usually really hard to interpret. Means many there are many technical indicators in our market. So, compared to 200 EMA or there are so many EMAs which will be using in our trading. So, when uh, we use uh, EMA in our chart, so it will help to understand the trend and also it is very simple. Okay. They look really complicated to understand. That is the other uh, indicators, no, other than the EMAs or uh, so many indicators. No, they they will be looking very, uh, really complicated to understand. Means we are not sure where to enter long or short. However, the 200 EMA is very powerful tool that has a simple line. Okay, this place that is very comparatively easily to understand other than shorter EMAs as well as other technical tools. Okay. So, what is the final conclusion that is if you are using 200 EMA? There are several great technical tools in the trading. There is no doubt that 200 is one of the best tools out there. Also, you are probably able to interpret the EMA lines. You should have no problem becoming the profitable trader when you trade using the 200 EMA, whether it is a swing position or for the intraday. Okay. So this is the nifty daily chart. So we are going to indicators to add the moving average exponential. So we have added this moving average exponential. Here the EMA is inputs is length is 50. We are going to change this as 200. Okay. I have changed this to black in color. So now we can see in the daily time frame. So nifty is trading above the 200 EMA okay so we can see here if whenever the price is touching this 200 EMA we can see that there is a rejection from the 200 EMA because this is very strong okay so uh, when the price is closing below the 200 EMA we can see the next day the price has given the gap down and after that next consecutive days we can see that the price is opening gap down 
okay also we can see that after that price uh, no gave a green candle gave a close above the 200 ema and after that the next candle no gave a uh, uh, high is above this previous days a uh, green candle and after that we can see that the price is in the uptrend that is price is moving in the uptrend okay we can see from here the price moved up till here 18095 this is a green candle which gave a close above uh, 200 ema in the daily time frame so you can use the 200 ema in any time frame also we can see here here we got the rejection from the 200 ema okay after that we can see that the price is trading below 200 ema and we can see that the price is you no know, falling down for the um, so many days consecutive days we can say that the price is trading below the 200 ema and price is falling from this particular level okay when we look into the daily time frame chart of nifty nifty is looking bullish okay so here we can uh, as a positional uh, view the nifty is looking bullish so here we can convert this to daily time frame to like 4 hours time frame chart so in the 4 hours time frame also nifty is looking bullish because the price is trading above the 200 ema we can see that uh, from uh, 24th april 2023 we got the uh, hammer candle at 20 at 200 ema here we got the price uh, trading above the 200 ema after that we can see that the price is continuously moving in the uptrend okay here we can see that okay the price at uh, 17708 and after that nifty made a high of 19991 all right so for positional traders or for swing traders if the price is trading above 200 ema they will get the uh, uh, get to a conclusion that the price is bullish yes we can enter into the long trade okay so in the 4 hours time frame also we are getting the uh, strong confirmation that nifty is looking bullish now we can look into the reliance stock okay so this is the one hour time frame chart so when we look into the one hour time frame we can see that the uh, reliance is trading below the 200 ema okay so we can see that here that is on 3rd august uh, reliance gave a close above the 200 ema and after that the 915 candle also gave a close above the 200 ema so the after that the price is trading above 200 ema means the price is reliance is looking bullish in the lower time frame that is the one hour time frame chart okay so in different time frames we have to analyze how the price is looking i means in different time frame above the ema that is above the 200 ema above or below the 200 ema whether the price is looking bearish or uh, bullish okay so here we can see that the reliance is trading above the 200 ema means that the trend is bullish okay and here we can see that the 22nd august uh, reliance took support at the 200 ema means reliance didn't give a breakdown below the 200 ema below this okay and uh, we can see that that is the 24th august uh, reliance gave a close below the 200 ema and the next day we can see that the price is still trading below the 200 ema okay again we can see in the lower time frame that is in the 15 minutes time frame chart we can see how the price is looking in the 15 minutes time frame also we can see that 24th august uh, reliance gave a close below the 200 ema and after that we can see that there is a huge fall in the reliance stock okay so we can uh, use this 200 ema in order to identify the trend for the uh, stocks as well as for the index also okay in different time frames we can check uh, for the swing and for the positional traders or for the intraday traders even for the scalpers also so those who are doing scalping they can go and check with the 5 minutes time frame chart how the prices how the 200 ema is behaving in the 5 minutes time frame even the 3 minutes time frame also will give a good picture for those who are doing scalping okay so here we can see that the price is trading below the 200 ema we can check the same in the nifty okay so here we can see that the price is trading below the 200 ema the 3 minutes time frame chart that is on 24th uh, august here the nifty gave a close below the 200 ema so those who are doing scalping they can use even 3 minutes or even 5 minutes time frame okay 
Here I'm not telling to take the trade using the 200 EMA. I'm telling how can we use the 200 EMA in order to get the double confirmation or how can we hold the position for a longer time using the 200 EMA. This is the 15 minutes time frame chart of Nifty and this is the 1 hour time frame chart of Nifty. So here we can see that from here the price went to the resistance level that is the 200 EMA and in the 15 minutes time frame chart this green candle touched the 200 EMA that is the resistance okay here we can see that this is the 200 EMA also we can see that the price touched the 200 EMA and if the price is trading below the 200 EMA means the trend is bearish that is we should not enter into the long trade until the price is giving a close above the 200 EMA in the lower time frame also when we look here, this is also the 16th August. Okay, here this is the one hour time frame chart. Okay, this is the 315 candle. Here also we got the rejection from the 200 EMA in the higher time frame. Higher time frame means here I have uh, shown the one hour time frame chart. So here in the 15 minutes and also in the one hour time frame chart, if you are getting the rejection, that is the strong resistance level means there is a place we can look for short uh, trade in the nifty not only in the nifty if you are looking bank nifty or any index or if you are looking any instrument any stocks we can look uh, like this types of trades so this will be the perfect entry for the long and for the short means at the higher time frame also this is the resistance in the lower time frame also this is the resistance means this uh, level is at 19483 the high of this green candle is 19483 and from there we can see that nifty made a low of 19253 here the high is 482 and 260 the low is 260 okay so nearly 200 uh, points we got a fall from this particular level okay this is my telegram channel currently having 7000 plus subscribers there are so many fake channel under my name and my logo don't get trapped okay so every video at the end of my every video i'm sharing the same about my telegram channel still people are getting trapped so please be aware of that here i will be sharing the nifty and the bank nifty levels that is a support and resistance level every day evening for next day so today is july 25 so this i have shared the 26 that is july 26 evening okay so here i have shared the nifty levels key key level i have shared today morning that is nifty 19 is the key level okay and also fin nifty also i have shared that fin nifty can touch 20,528 and the target got achieved so this is a free channel so those who are trading the index nifty or bank nifty fin nifty they can join my telegram channel okay then i told trail fin nifty to 2505 that got achieved so okay so here this is the telegram channel so those who are trading nifty and bank nifty can make use of my telegram channel hope this video is useful to you please don't forget to like share and subscribe click the bell icon too for my upcoming video notifications thank you for watching